even seen some of the famous frescoes from the Roman architectures or the spellbinding um, Sumerian artworks or the Egyptian artworks and maybe the some of the famous Mughal artworks that adorn the walls of our um, ancient monuments here. Meticulous work that encapsulates and captivates each and every possible human sense and it silently allows an emotion um, that runs a shiver of wonder down our spine. So what was in those paintings that even centuries after they were created, the paintings captivate us so much. They speak to each and every pair of um, human eye that glance upon them. Silent whispers from an era bygone, whispers of time, words unspoken by innumerable anonymous artisans. It has a tale that the artists had to narrate about um, what he saw, what he experienced at his time. His narration of pain, his narration of grief, sadness, um, happiness and ecstasy. His expressions of indulgence, content, um, his opinions about all that he witnessed and all that he felt and probably never expressed, his brush strokes articulated in the language of whispers that traverse the length and breadth of time. They carry the emotions and the thoughts from one um, bygone era to now and probably into the centuries to come. capsule that travels through decades and centuries as, as the messenger of tales of socio-political um, influences, of cultural transitions, of economic transformations. When all of those come alive in front of our eyes when you view those paintings. So I've often wondered, you know, about whose emotions and stories are these paintings narrating and whispering into my eyes or ears as though I hear an echo of my own voice. Are these resonances of my own feelings from the depths of my consciousness? And if I can, sometimes these whispers seem to be narrating tales of utter suspense which were intense and somewhat alien to me. Nonetheless, um, the feelings that the paintings invoked were surreal, to say the least. So, questions have remained questions from childhood until now. Whose emotions are these? Mine or the nameless artisans from times immemorial? I believe that a painting, while it is in the making, is all about how the artist feels. But the same painting, once it's completed, it is all about how it makes the audience feel. Thank you.